After AMC's $250 million at the market offering on Friday, you guys have been bombarding me with questions. In this video, I'm going to cover the most popular questions I am receiving. Do I think AMC is going to do a reverse split? And what the heck is going to happen with the price action next week? Let's get right into it. Happy Saturday, and I hope you all are enjoying a three-day weekend, spending some time with your family and loved ones. I wanted to take a quick minute out of my day to answer some of these questions that you guys are sending me. Let's start off with a recap of the last couple of weeks or so. As uh, I discussed in the videos on Thursday, I think it was, when we went over this topic on the live stream, I did sell most of my AMC on Wednesday into the run-up at the end of the day. I had been alerting my Discord since about March 20th that I felt like a dilution announcement was imminent. And every day that went by as we got closer and closer to Wednesday, the level of urgency in my alerts went up until I told them, look, I'm, I'm taking some action. I'm going to protect my portfolio and preserve my capital. Not everybody believed me. Not everybody took action. We all make our own decisions. But my level of concern based on my cash flow analysis, the cash burn analysis, the meeting that the lenders had, and the tweet from Adam led me to believe that something was imminent. And yes, unfortunately, we did wake up to that on Thursday. So... I am mostly in cash on my AMC position. I did keep some shares. They're hedged with January 2025 $4 puts, which acted as a perfect hedge for the downtick in the price on Thursday. With that being said, just like you guys, I have some of these same questions that I've been thinking about. When is this dilution going to be over? What is the price going to go down to? Because I plan on rebuying once I think that it's safe and that the price has bottomed out. And is there any potential for a reverse split? The other thing that we need to keep in the back of our mind is that the debt renegotiation is going on. And we don't know what the outcome of that is going to be. Is it going to be a straight debt restructuring? Is it going to be some form of convertible bonds, which would be dilutive also? Or are they just going to push that off and not do anything right away? Let's tackle these topics really quickly. Regarding the reverse split, keep in mind, this is just my opinion. I don't have a crystal ball. If we think back to the reverse split that happened previously, the main purpose of that was to free up shares. AMC needed to raise money. It was not likely that shareholders were going to approve issuing more shares. So the easiest thing for the company to do was collapse the share structure with the reverse split. Total authorized shares is 550 million. We've got 263 million issued and outstanding at the moment. And I figure with this round of dilution, there'll be another 60 to 80 million shares. So that brings us to what? About 340 million or so. The company still got 200 million more shares to issue if they needed to. So in that regard, I don't think that a reverse split is likely. There's no logic behind needing to free up more shares to drive a reverse split decision. The only way that the company would get into reverse split territory, in my mind anyways, would be if the share price dropped low enough that they got into some compliance issue with NYSE and we're not anywhere near that territory. Could a reverse split still happen? I know that the bears are screaming that every single day, but in my mind right now, I don't call it a high probability event. I don't think that there's going to be one. I hope I'm right here. It certainly would be catastrophic to investors to endure another reverse split. So let's cross our fingers and hope that the company navigates its way through these next couple quarters on the cash that they do have and that the remaining quarters in this year get better so that we can get that off the table and the price can come up organically. Now to get into the other question, when is the dilution going to be done and what is the price going to drop to? Over the last couple of weeks, people that I have been talking to, I was telling them that I thought that the dilution would be a 20 to 30% event, which we ended up with around 30%, and that the price would drop correspondingly and that I did not want to endure a 30% price drop. Now we are down about 14.5% 
or so as of the close of business on Thursday. Typically, when a company does dilution and an at-the-market offering, they are selling shares into the market on a daily basis. Generally, about 10% of the daily volume will be the company selling shares into the market. And on high volume days, like we have on Thursday, they can pump a little bit more in there, maybe more than 10%. But I would expect that the dilution event will take several weeks for them to churn through 60 to 80 million shares to raise the $250 million in capital. What the price will fall to ultimately, or if it will continue to fall into next week, that is anybody's guess. And this video, I'm gonna tell you about my guess because you guys keep asking me that. I would expect that the price could test $3. That would be a 30% retracement from the high on Wednesday, which was around $4.30. 30% retracement matching the 30% dilution. Now, will I be right on that? Will it find support at $3.70? Will it plummet below $3? Nobody can say for sure, guys. It depends on how much shares AMC is trying to sell on a daily basis. It depends on what kind of support investors give the stock in response to the general selling pressure on a day-to-day -day basis. It also depends on the general stock market itself. What's going on in the market next week or the week after that that might be driving pressure on the entire market. With that being said, and for myself thinking that it could test $3, I'm just going to take next week easy. I'm going to be watching the daily volume. I'm going to be doing some computations on the daily volume, trying to estimate when AMC is close to finished on their dilution. And ultimately, I'd love to see a announcement from the company that the At The Money offering is complete. The other thing I'm going to be watching for is if there's any news about debt restructuring, because that could also factor in when I get back into the play. This is still a speculative play. The company is still not profitable. We're still a quarter or so away from improving domestic box office. So as always, as I tell you in every single stock that I invest in, I want to get the best entry possible. I want to wait and maximize my chances of getting into the bottom and then being there for the ride up. Now, is it still gonna be a bumpy ride? It's going to be a bumpy ride. AMC is not going to make a profit in 2024. At least that is my estimate. Some of y'all might have a different opinion. I hope that they do, but that is not my current thought. And we will update you every quarter here as things progress. There's a lot of great movies coming out later this year. And I hope that, you know, maybe the company and the domestic box office will exceed even my expectations. Once this weekend is complete, tomorrow, Sunday, March 31st, Q1 will be over. Next week, early, as soon as the final box office numbers are in, I will be putting out my Q1 earnings per share video. I will include a new segment in that showing you the cash burn estimate for Q1, something that I've been doing weekly. And I will continue to do that the last month of every quarter because as I've been telling you this year, cash burn and the cash position of the company is the top two things that I'm looking at to decide what I do in this trade because I want to be making moves ahead of any potential dilution announcement. Now, as we get through this year, the risk of additional dilution, I think, goes down because the quarters are going to be better. But I've been telling you guys for months now that in the beginning half of the year, especially in these slower quarters, you need to be paying attention to the cash that the company has on the balance sheet and what the cash burn is because there is going to be high risk of additional dilution if the company feels in their mind that their cash position or their working capital is getting too low. If you guys have other questions that I did not address in this video, if you have comments, please feel free to drop them below. I am Tony DeNaro and I will see you on the next video.